Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over something that is talked about a lot, words that are used a lot in our circles that we run in. First word is conspiracy. Second word is conspiracy theory. All right. So if on the news they said that three young men from the hood hired to rob a bank or to rob a jewelry store, Nobody would, would gasp and put their hand over their mouth and go, oh my, oh dear. You know, they're accusing them of a conspiracy. All right. That is an actual charge. Yes, you can be charged with robbery or armed robbery and all that stuff. But you can also be charged with crimes like that, where let's say it's three men or five men, <clears throat> excuse me, you can be charged with conspiracy. All right. So that's an actual charge, and nobody gasps like that and reacts like it's a big surprise or, you know, an impossibility or something that's, you know, as some, some would say, quote, wacko or, you know, crazy. People get together and form a gang or conspire, hatch a plot, and agree to work together to rob something like that. It's not a big surprise. So suddenly it is a big surprise though when people say, you know, that they believe that there's an evil cabal or that evil billionaires conspire to, to work together to rob the masses, okay? The big billionaires, whether they're, you know, one of the owner, an owner of Amazon, a multi-billion uh, dollar empire, or Microsoft or Apple, or the central banks like the Rothschilds. All of a sudden, most people in the masses react, you're, you're a conspiracy theorist, you're just, you know, you're this, you're that, and they're disparaging about it. And uh, as you can see from, from the image, that term has, has been that way before even the CIA came out with the term to apply to people with the JFK event, basically. The PSYOP is what it really was. Some people still call it the JFK assassination. Um, not have looked as deeply into it as I have over the years. Beyond that, though, conspiracy theory, you could apply it to Jekyll Island with the big bankers or banksters in America creation of the uh, Federal Reserve in America, printing of the money. Once you control that, you control the country. Control the money, control the country, okay? As I often say, and I've said it in some of my writing many, many years ago, control the minds and the bodies will follow. A prime example of that was the scamdemic. Control the minds and the bodies will follow. So a lot of people in the years that I've been saying that, the decades, have thought, scratched their heads and wondered what I was talking about. Because I, I was saying this decades before the scamdemic. And that's what they can do. I saw what they could do in China and Tiananmen Square. I've learned things all along the way about how this system works. And unfortunately, there's quite a few in our, quote, community that don't understand how the system works. They don't understand the terms conspiracy, conspiracy theory, conspiracy theorist. Um, there's people in our, quote, community. I'm really not part of it, and I never group myself in, but they'll say, this is a fact. This isn't just a conspiracy or a conspiracy theory. Like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Do you realize that conspir you can be charged with the charge of conspiracy? You seem to treat it like conspiracies are fake or lies or just dreams or... I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Like, have you ever looked up the term? It gets annoying after a while, and it's getting more common, I notice, in the, quote, truth community on these channels and people that watch these shield channels. A conspiracy is completely legit to call something a conspiracy. It's people agreeing... <clears throat> to plot together. It's just remarkable that I even have to say some of this stuff sometimes, but 
That is the, quote, truth community of 2023. And uh, it is remarkable, okay? Because people will say, it is, it isn't, this isn't a conspiracy. This is a fact. And there's, it's just, wow, man. So what would you say about the Rothschilds family and, and his sons back in the day where he got his sons uh, to run the Central Bank of England and Central Bank of France and just everywhere? Do you not understand that was a conspiracy? That was a plot? It was a plot to take over? It's a sanity machine, but that's a fact, though. That happened. Yeah, it did. Like, you're somehow confusing conspiracy with fiction. You don't get it. It's not just a conspiracy. This is a fact. What do you think a conspiracy is? Like, you're, you're really confused. And it's just, it irks me. It annoys me to see so many saying that. And these aren't normies. These are people, like, it's, it makes me shake my head. And I've seen uh, ones that run channels, like uh, Quantum of Con Men. And I'm trying to think of other channels recently I've seen that on. But I keep seeing it pop up time and time and time again. All right? Man, what are you talking about? You don't even know the meaning of the word conspiracy. You might want to look that up. It's, well, instead of talking about it so much in your videos and you're, you're not making any sense, you're almost using it the same way the, the mainstream media would use it. You know? You might as well be CNN for fuck's sakes. That's what I'm saying. That's how bad you are about, you know, the, the, the meanings of words. And... It's just, wow, man. So people following some of these channels on here, you are free to follow whatever you want. But on the other hand, um, it makes you look pretty fucking bad when you're following someone that speaks that way. And, and it's just like, damn. So a, a conspiracy can be at the level of three low-level guys that with hammers that, that smash... Uh, the cases of jewelry, the jewelry cases to grab gold and silver and, uh, you know, platinum and watches, whatever, diamonds at a jewelry store. It can be that low level and it could have been planned days before whatever they got together and done that. Or, and it can also be at the high level of billionaires in a certain club, okay? Whether they're Freemasons or Knights of Malta, or in the Club of Rome, or whatever the case may be. They're working together. They're on the same page in terms of running this, uh, this realm. They know they'll profit more that way than fighting each other. And they're not enemies. They're just fighting against us to control us. Okay, and some people say, well, you say you're, they're conspiring to kill us. I'm not talking about depopulation or getting rid of all of us or you know, like people just don't get some things i just read a comment earlier and it, it's just tedious to me it is tedious reading some of those comments because as soon as i mentioned coke zero and aspartame and you know i know this is toxic or poisoning us and is not healthy well they're trying to kill us i when i say poisoning did i say kill us it might shorten my life but it, is drinking that just going to kill me are they not getting energy from me and getting things out of me that if I live another 50, 10, 15 years? Do you not understand? Do you not understand the slow kill method of making you unhealthy and sick and suffering where you're not dead? Like, you don't get it, man. You just don't fucking think. And then I have to read that. I'm just shaking my head and I don't reply to those anymore. I've cut down on my replying to comments because there's so many like that there's there's some that are really good always some excellent comments but you think i'm contradicting myself you jump to these stupid fucking conclusions have you not heard of the slow kill method you must be new then okay don't get butt hurt when i call you new because you must be heard of that 25 years ago so i think you must be new okay Sorry if you're at that level. I'm sorry for you. Sorry. 
sorry if you're thinking the Georgia Guidestones were taken down because they're going to cut down the population and it's all about depopulation. They want less of us, but they also want us as cattle and want us, want us for energy. And it's conflicting in your mind and you're saying, what are you saying, sanity machine? Are you saying they're trying to kill us with colas? They put some toxic shit in there. Does it kill you immediately? No, it doesn't. Does our food kill us immediately? No, it doesn't. Like, I can't believe I have to go through this elementary kindergarten shit. I'm sorry. It is frustrating for me. I don't like it. And then people will say, well, you sound arrogant going over this stuff. I'm trying to run a channel that's at a high level, not a baby truther level. I don't want to do that. But then I get these comments, and it's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this shit? You know? Should I address it? Should I just ignore, ignore it? Pretend these people are not here? What are you doing here if you're at that level? You know? I just thought this was all about depopulation, which I don't talk about. Watch my videos to understand what, what my point of view is of what they're doing here to us and what they do in the astral realm when you pass away. Is my whole channel focused on shit like the Georgia Guidestones and depopulation plan? You know? No, it isn't. So you say, where's the spiritual aspect? If I wanted to cover that kindergarten shit, I would have set up a YouTube channel a long time ago, before 2012. In the very least, I would have been setting it up 2010 or earlier, talking about that. And I didn't do that. I didn't do that. And I'm not going to talk about that old shit today. Okay? There's plenty of channels. You can go on lots of YouTube channels or BitChute channels. You can get that conspiracy stuff to your heart's content. It's kindergarten level. You may not realize it. You may argue, oh, you're just arrogant calling that kindergarten level. It's basic truth or 101, basic level stuff that pretty much all of us have seen before. Okay? It really is. So I was going to say let's get beyond that, but whoever's at that level, you get beyond that. You do that. Because I don't even, you know, I don't even know what to say anymore to that kind of stuff. I don't know how you ended up here, but I'm pretty sure you came straight from a, ch a shield channel. And instead of listening to, my, and to what I'm saying in my videos and watching more videos, you made an ass out of yourself commenting on the first one that you could and made a first impression, like saying that I'm contradicting myself with depopulation plan and how they're using us for as cattle for energy and it, how you, you think I'm wrong you say at the end that it's a spiritual battle that's basically what my whole fucking channel's about so then you're, you're so far off like it, you make yourself look foolish if you know what I'm saying it's like meeting someone that doesn't know me at all and their first impression is talking down to me about art and they're playing, being arrogant about art and knowing everything about art and stuff like that. They're treating me like I'm some normie from the masses, just some zombie. It's never studied artwork, never looked at it, never made it. And then I say, you know, I, I know a little bit about art. And they look and they're just like shaking their head and being arrogant. And I'm like, here, look, here's my studio or here's my work on my walls or look, look at this is what I've made. So that's what you're doing. You're saying that I'm contradicting myself. And I don't understand, I don't understand the deep, you know, the depopulation plan, or that doesn't match up with spiritual warfare. You just got to my channel. You don't know what the fuck is here, you know? Clueless, the person that did that. And then there's people that say, why do you address these people in video after video after video? Because there seems to be a lot of them, that's why. It's not just one or two, it's all the time. So to me, that is the, quote, truth community. Whether that makes you butthurt or upset, that's what I call the, quote, truth community. It's loaded with that. Loaded. With low-level people that don't take the time to listen and watch, they judge. They're kindergarten baby truthers. And they, they can't even tell that someone has been a veteran or been doing this, looking into these things for decades. They, they don't take the time to even tell that. They're here 10 minutes on my channel and they're already commenting stupidly. That's one of the most foolish things you can do when you write, not just with my channel, it's beyond that. If you find another YouTube channel or beyond YouTube, 
you come across somebody's website or somebody's blog or whatever, and they're writing, and they're at a high level, and the first thing you do is, instead of reading 20 pieces of writing that they have posted, you read for like five minutes, and you're, in the first five minutes, you're already writing a disparaging comment, putting them down, and thinking, judging them, and thinking you have them <clears throat> all figured out. You don't have them all figured out. You just assume that you do, and you don't. So yeah, I'm starting to lose my voice. I have been straining my voice. was up late all night, basically, last night. <clears throat> Not partying, by the way, so I was working on things. And that's what I do when I have insomnia. I work. <clears throat> you might not understand that. People that don't understand anything that I'm doing. And yeah, that does get frustrating. So I'm going to end this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you got a refresher course on what the actual word conspiracy means. It's a conspir just a conspiracy, people say. So it's just fake or just fictional, just a lie. But, you know, they'll say it's not a conspiracy. It's a fact. I mean, fuck, you don't even know what you sound like, you know? And the, the quote, truth community is loaded with that. Just loaded with that. What was done in the United States at Jekyll Island to form the Federal Reserve is a perfect example of a conspiracy. They hatched a plot. Wealthy creatures. And it worked. So that's not fiction. It's not, quote, just a conspiracy, as people put it on here. Don't get it. You could be charged with conspiracy as a crime. They're not charging with you with fiction. Do you understand? If you conspire with other criminals to, to do something, whether it's robbery or an, uh, something else that involves a person, kidnapping, murder, whatever, not being charged with, oh, he's charged with a fiction, because conspiracy means fiction, it's not a fact. You're very confused. There's people in, this, in the, quote, truth community that are very, very confused. And I run into that all the time. It's just, it's so annoying. And it's just one more thing that for years has made me say, I don't want to be part of that, quote, community. Please don't group me in with morons. I'm not part of that. I'm not part of that not so don't ever call my channel a conspiracy channel or me or say or, or say that he's a he's a truth he's a truther quote truther this is a truther or he's in the truth community no i'm not i'm not okay <clears throat> i don't want to be grouped in at all i do my own thing here i don't want to be grouped in with morons that don't don't know the meaning of the words that they use they're at that level please don't group me in with them please don't and don't group me in with people in cults that are completely brainwashed, whether they're in... It doesn't matter. I, I don't, I'm not going to name them. It doesn't matter what the name of their cult is. They're essentially the same thing, just different, slightly different flavors. They're the same. Don't group me in with them. Why not? I'm not part of that. It's disparaging. You're being insulting. You're being rude. Putting me in with fucking idiots, okay? Let's put it that way. And brainwash people. And newbies that just arrived yesterday. I didn't, they'll say, I didn't just wake up. I'm not new. I didn't wake up recently. I, I've been researching this for four months. It's like, God damn. You know, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a face palm type of person. But if I was, I'd be face palming myself to death over what I read on here. They don't understand that four months ago is, is extremely new, okay? It's goddamn new. If you said that you just woke up from the scamdemic in 2020, that's new to me. But Sanity Machine, that's three years ago. That's new. I'm not saying it to look down on you or say, hey, I'm higher. That is new. If it took that for you to wake up, that's new. I'm sorry. I'm not saying it as a put down. It's just the truth. All right? just the truth and it applies to other things too somebody says that they've been mountain climbing 
for four months. That's new because there's veterans that have been climbing fucking mountains for years, decades. All right? That's the way it is. You know, don't be a crybaby over that stuff. And that's what I hate these days. It's just so bad these days that people get butthurt and they get triggered and turn into a crybaby over everything. Fuck, that gets so tedious. I don't like the crybabies. Anyways, I'm going to end this video. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.